Rationalising the denominator means that we are aiming to remove the third from the denominator of a fraction and make it a whole number. If we look at 5 over root 3, this root 3 is in the denominator, so we need to, in order to rationalise the denominator, change that into a whole number. In order to do this, we are going to make an equivalent fraction by timesing the top and bottom of the fraction by root 3. The reason we do this is that root 3 divided by root 3 is equal to 1, so we have not changed the fraction at all, we just made it look slightly different. So if we do this, we end up with 5 root 3 on the top and root 3 times root 3 on the denominator. The numerator cannot be simplified any further, so that is 5 root 3. Root 3 times root 3 is the same as the square root of 9, which we know is 3. So this denominator becomes 3. So 5 over root 3, once we've rationalised the denominator, becomes 5 root 3 over 3. Now you may get more complicated examples where you have integers in the denominator as well as thirds which you will have to deal with. So again we've got root 2 in our denominator so in order to rationalise this we have to times the numerator and the denominator by root 2. This gives us 2 root 2 as our numerator and 3 root 2 root 2 as our new denominator. We can't simplify the numerator anymore, so that becomes 2 root 2. But we can make this root 2 times root 2, which we know equals 2. So that's 3 times 2. So we end up with 2 root 2 over 6, which we can simplify as the 2 in 6 of 2 as a common factor as root 2 over 3. So to rationalise the denominator, you multiply by 1, which is in the form of a square root divided by a square root. You'll know you have successfully rationalised the denominator when you end up with an integer as your denominator rather than a third.